Hey, what is up YouTube? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. And guess what? I'm back. And I've been gone for quite a long time now. And I know you guys have been waiting for some more uploads. Well, I'm about to continue doing that right now. And I uh, pretty much want to clarify some things. I took a, quite a hiatus from doing YouTube videos for a while. One of my followers told me that I should see what my growth is without much uploads and so i decided to do that so i went from 1900 to 2000 so yay 2000 subscribers Woo! so i'm at that and um yeah i just wanted to see how my growth was without much interaction with my channel and i noticed that i grew about a hundred subscribers within a month and uh i'm actually quite happy with uh my growth for what it is but i am now back at it and let's jump right into it in today's video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to draw a you know what I'm talking about? But the thing that everyone loves, we all like the peach. But let's jump right into it. So drawing them cheeks is quite an easy thing. Uh, realistically, it's like well, drawing a peach or a heart. And if you want to add angles, separate the, the center point from the, the whatever, the, 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 the can't talk, uh, one tight drag. Yeah, separate the center point from where your legs are going to be at. Kind of like guitar picks, different way, teardrops, if you want to draw your legs and stuff like that. And if you want to do crazy angles and things like that, you can get really creative with the way how you want to draw the backside of your character. And this, in particular case, I'm going to be drawing nothing but women. And as you can see here, while I'm doing my outline sketch, I'm going to be drawing them with overlapping lines. So as you can see, that it just shows how quick and easily I'm able to do something like this. And the shapes, like I always say in my videos, always come in handy when you're making your characters. You don't really need to focus too much on the torso in this video. The focus point mainly is the behind, the rear end, uh, you know, the bumpers, all that stuff. And uh, depending on what kind of ass you're trying to draw for your character, you can really get creative. You can either draw someone super voluptuous, uh, a fit booty, or, you know, just a regular size butt. And uh, don't forget about shape too, depending on your character. You can either have it like be super round, uh, you can be square, you can be completely flat. Uh, there's so many different ways you can do it and in this angle here it's just like a little side angle with one leg kind of sticking forward as if like you're having one leg on a stool something like that and you're just showing off kind of where the crease and the curve is at in the ass in this picture now in my next example this one is going to be kind of like a pinup maybe like a little perky uh, uh some people call this the humpback and um it's uh kind of where like let's say your character is leaning forward let's say reaching for something on the top shelf and they're on their tippy toes uh, let's just go like off of that type of uh, angle i guess and you're looking at them from let's see from there five o'clock and uh let's see you're just uh you're showing it from kind of like a bottom angle this was a very simple style uh for drawing pretty much like imagine trying drawing two very cartoony cat paws if you will pointing upward uh very roundish style stuff powerpuff girl hands whatever you want to call them uh doritos guitar picks and things like that teardrops and uh just make sure it's nice and round and make sure you show where your lines are going to be at and uh, when it comes to the back make sure the back has a curve in it a back arc um, a lot of women actually have back arcs and it shows emphasis on the butt so it's a really good idea when you create a character just to do that exactly when you're making the the rear position like this position would be perfect for a character who might be wearing like a skirt or something like that and you want to show emphasis on the skirt fluttering in like the wind or something uh, but if you're just drawing someone who's just like in their underwear or whatever in a, a long t-shirt or just like a dress or whatnot then this would be perfect for that too in this case i decided to give my character some booty shorts just because i said what the heck why not and have having fun with the image and uh yeah that's what i came up with with this one kind of like cowgirl style and just have some fun with it low detail just you know throwing in shapes and things like that just to get it going and i made her thighs ridiculously huge and you know sometimes a small mistake like that can be a good thing because even though it might not be a mistake to you i see it as a mistake because it does look good but it also doesn't look proportionate but then again i said you can always make things very wild and unproportionate and when we go on to the final example what i have here it's going to be a woman crouching um and this one's a bit more challenging just because of the body angle and once you get better at body angles uh, you can definitely create whatever you want and uh, i always say just get examples off the internet uh, if you, if you ever took figure drawing classes, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Just practice drawing people from a distance. Um, 
or like I said before in the past, if you're really bad at it, just trace people till you get good. After you get good at tracing people, then do your own thing and give it your own best shot. So the problem with the image I'm drawing right now, um, my big issue with this one was the left leg. It's pretty much covered up uh, like 50% by her right leg, by her butt and her thigh. And so it's a very weird angle to draw. This is one you really have to experiment with to see what looks good with you. So definitely get your rough sketches going. Make sure you draw your shapes and things like that just to see where it's gonna go before you start adding detail. Um, luckily for me, I was able to um, get a decent style I can't even pronounce it just a decent way I got it going and you know I made her butt a little bit more round than um, it should be and it popped out real nicely and drawing her leg was kind of funky but the best thing I can do is look at examples of people crouching on Google and see how they look like just to be able to get that type of angle and that's exactly what I did you know you can find a lot of cool examples if you need help uh, a lot of a lot of popular artists when they're drawing their own personal stuff like that they usually have a an artist's mannequin where they can put it in different angles and stuff to help them draw out what type of angle they need and like a long time ago i thought those were just like the most stupidest things in the world but as i got older i found myself using them more and more because sometimes drawing some of those certain angles are very difficult and it can be very tough on you so sometimes having a little extra help can definitely help you out and as you see here we're now coming to the end of the video I have all three of my examples popping up and like I said before it really depends on your own skill set and how much practice you put into it because you can make a lot you can make your character look amazing make her butt be popping out or just have it be subtle athletic type or just have it be just like a regular style basic anime flat butt you know um, and uh, yeah just have some fun with it because there's so many different things you can do with your characters just to make them stand out and when you start adding clothing and extra details and stuff like that depending if you're drawing the lower half of your character then you can do so much and uh, just to have a lot of fun with it but that is pretty much it for this video um, again uh, thank you for the 2k subs I'm getting back into it I've just been doing taking a hiatus for a while just because of reasons and I'm just having fun now getting back into it I got some videos coming uh, so when I actually do hit 2K, which should be in like a day or so, I'm going to post a speed art. It's going to be uh, anime drawing, and hopefully you guys like it. And I think it's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Your boy Diamonds out.